Hi. Hello. How, how are, are you? Good. How are you? Good. Oh, There's Winnie's. Winnie. Winnie's Winnie, come on. Winning. <laughs> She'll probably make an appearance later. Oh, she would love that. Yes. All righty. Well, are you ready for your 73 I'm questions? I'm ready. Ready as I'll ever be. All right. Let's <laughs> get started. Coming. So yeah. what is your name? So my name is Charlotte Hand. And what's your specialty? I am a dermatology resident. What year are you in residency? I'm a PGY3, but second year dermatology resident. So one year to go. Gotcha. Can I get you some water? Sure. Okay, great. So where are you originally from? Um, I am from about an hour south of here, a small town called Wadley, Georgia. Um, so kind of nice. My family comes up quite often. Um, grew up kind of coming to Augusta back and forth. Okay. So where did you originally go to undergrad? Um, I went to the University of Georgia, um, and my major was biological sciences. Still a big dog fan. Go dogs. And med school? Uh, I went to Mercer University in Macon, Georgia. Okay. What specialty did you think you were going to go into on the first day of med school? Um, honestly, I've always wanted to go into dermatology. Um, I kind of entered med school saying, all right, don't give you, get your hopes up, focus on that one thing, tried to keep an open mind. Um, and after third year going through all of my core rotations, just kept going back to dermatology. So here I am. Were there any specialties you immediately said, absolutely not for me? Um, probably psychiatry. <laughs> So dermatology is one of the most popular specialties out there. What was the moment you realized that that was what you wanted to do? Um, I think after shadowing, you know, I grew up going to the dermatologist a lot. Then once I shadowed in med school, um, just really like kind of the hands-on plus the surgical aspect. So it's a little medicine, little surgery. Um, plus you can see what you're dealing with. You look at rashes, you look at the skin all day long. And I kind of really like that. So yeah. Yeah. So how long does your training take after med school? So after medical school, it's one year of internal medicine, or you can do pediatrics, a transition year, uh, surgical year, um, and then you have to do three years of dermatology. So why do you think dermatology is so competitive? Because it's the best. Everyone wants to do it. <laughs> oh, that's an easy common answer. <gasps> yeah. At least I think so, by the way. Yeah. Come here. So do you want to subspecialize? Um, I don't think so. So you can do either Mohs surgery, some people rarely do cosmetics fellowship, and then you can also uh, do pediatrics. Um, I really like surgery, but I don't know if I love Mohs enough to do another year of it. Gotcha. <laughs> so what would you say is the most unique part of your specialty? Um, definitely the variability. We are one day you know, doing surgeries on skin, one day seeing rashes, dealing with complex medical dermatology. Some days it is just warts and acne, pretty easy bread and butter, but very, a lot of variety, so. All right, this is a fun part. You can act as a kind of a car salesman for your specialty. So mm. why should someone choose your specialty? Hmm, well, I already said it's the best. <laughs> um, you know, as far as family and lifestyle, it's a pretty good option. Um, sometimes we do take call as residents, but you know, not as much call as maybe some other specialties. So, you know, still plenty of time to have a life outside of work. Um, and every dermatologist I know is happy, happy with their job. They love what they do. They love the patients. So yeah. Good to hear. Well, <laughs> devil's advocate now, why should someone not choose your specialty? Hmm. It's pretty stressful to uh, <laughs> apply to dermatology, I'll say, because it is so competitive. Um, but I think it's worth it in the end. You work hard, you finally make it there, and now I love it, so. Awesome. So are there any stereotypes of, about your specialty? For sure. Um, acne, Dr. Pimple Popper, we love her, but Definitely, um, dermatology is not all just acne and pimple popping. Um, we do deal with, like I said, a lot of complex medical dermatology, um, a lot of ver very serious diseases. So yeah, definitely just the stereotype of all we do is acne and warts all day. I was gonna say, are the stereotypes true? But I guess you debunk some of them. Yeah, I mean, it's sometimes your bread and butter, the acne patient, but it's always good to have that complex derm too. <laughs> Hello. This is Winnie. Aw. 
So what do you do in an average day? Uh, so in the mornings, um, get up, we have our lecture for about an hour in the morning, um, and then go to clinic, whether it be Mohs clinic, general dermatology clinic, uh, the VA, um, and then come home, usually study more, um, lots of studying in dermatology. Uh, and then that's it. So important question. What's the balance between procedures and clinic like? Um, so we do procedures on certain days. We do have a little bit of general dermatology mixed in with it. Um, but pretty even, of course you do mo more surgery on those days than, um, others, but yeah. All right. So another fun question. What is the craziest case you've ever been a part of? Hmm. Craziest case. Surgical or general? Both. Um, so we do see some pretty big tumors. Um, those are pretty crazy. They can go, you know, with Mohs, you do different stages. Um, and some of them can last all day, depending on how big the tumor is. And then uh, patients could have to have radiation or other things after. Um, and then as far as general, um, we see some pretty crazy cases of delusions of parasitosis, which kind of goes back to that don't want to do psychiatry <laughs> part, but um, it's pretty crazy. I've had somebody bring in a cup of her own urine for all of us to inspect under the microscope to look for bugs, but... Nice. Fun, <laughs> just an average day at the clinic. Yeah. Right. How often do you get to work with medical students? Uh, pretty often. Um, right now we have two. Of course, with COVID, that kind of went down a little bit, but before COVID, I felt like we had at least... Anywhere from two to four medical students every day. Okay. So what is the craziest question you've been asked as a resident, either both seriously or joking? Because I know uh, attendings like to pick on y'all. Uh, you said the craziest? Yes. Hmm. Okay. Um, I don't know. We get a lot of, we get pimped a lot. Questions about different genetic mutations. Um, I guess one patient in particularly, she asked me why she had this pimple on her and looking closer, it was a large tick, but I don't know. <laughs> uh -oh. How many patients do you see on an average day? Um, so with our attendings, we kind of switch back and forth. Um, so like I see a patient and then another resident will see a patient back and forth. Um, so probably about 10 per half day, so maybe 20 or so. Okay. How many hours do you work in an average week? Um, probably about 45. Okay. Plus then we come home and study all until we get to bed. <laughs> so always a fun question to ask because of all the variations. What time do you normally wake up? Um, around 6.30 or 7. What time do you normally leave the hospital? Uh, 5 to 5.30. How many hours of sleep are you typically working on? Probably around 7. How many hours of sleep are you working on right now? 7. <laughs> <laughs> Good for you. <laughs> so, do you have to take call at all? Yes. Um, so I'm actually on call this weekend and next weekend. Um, so we take call as a second year. Okay. And morning person or night owl? Night owl for sure. How long does it take for you to finish your patient notes at the end of the day? Um, I kind of do them as I go. Um, so I usually don't come home with any charts to do. So finish them up Good. by the end of clinic. Uh, would you want to stay in academics or go into private practice in the future? I'm actually trying to decide that right now. <laughs> <laughs> so that's a question for a later time. Yes. Come back to me later. So, who are you most thankful for on your care team? Definitely our attendings. They just know so much. Of course, when we get the answer wrong, they're going to know what it is. They know what every rash is. Um, but we're learning, so glad that they're passing on that wisdom. What is the most rewarding part of your field? Um, whenever someone has been to multiple doctors, they can't figure out what's going on. We see them um, get them on the right treatment regimen and they come back to you and they're so happy because 
your treatment worked and their skin is clear or they're not itching anymore, that can be pretty rewarding. All right, what's your favorite nerdy random medical fact? Hmm, Netherton syndrome, genetic mutations, Spink 5. <laughs> <laughs> so, are you ever grossed out by some of the stuff you see? Yeah, I mean, some of the cysts do smell pretty terrible. Um, but, you know, it's all in a day's work. <laughs> And what is the funniest thing you've seen in a patient chart without, you know, violating HIPAA, of course? Hmm. Funniest thing in the chart? I don't know. I don't know if I could say it without violating anything. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. So, all right. We've talked a lot about life inside the hospital. So how about your life when you clock out? What is your favorite thing to do when you're not working? Um, sitting out here. Uh, me and my husband like to um, spend a lot of time in our yard and then go into the lake. Um, yeah, spending time with family. So, does your family ever ask you for random medical advice? All the time. Um, lots of things. GI questions, bone questions, not just skin. Well, what is the weirdest thing a friend or family has ever asked you? Mm. It's a GI question, and I'll leave it at that. <laughs> <laughs> Understandable. So, any pets? Uh, yeah, Winnie. Um, I guess you saw her a little bit ago. Right now, she's um, begging for treats from our neighbor over Aww. there. So, that's her usual. She deserves some. Yeah. So, I guess that answers the next question. Dog or cat person? Dog, for sure. And what is your favorite animal not a dog or cat? Mm, dolphin. Dolphin, okay. If you could have dinner with anyone in history, who would it be? Hmm. Good question. I don't know. Um, George Washington. <laughs> and what would you guys be eating at that dinner? Mm, filet and mashed potatoes. Nice. So what's your favorite dish to eat? Uh, Mexican. Okay. Coffee, tea, or soda? Hmm. I like all three. I start with the coffee. Sometimes have tea in the day with a soda. <laughs> Hard to choose. <laughs> so D, all of the above. Nice. All right. Fun question because I get a different answer from every doctor I talk to. How much water should you be drinking every day? Eight glasses, right? <laughs> right? Question mark? <laughs> More uh, than oh, I drink. There's Who's Winnie. Here? There's Winnie. Winnie, hop on up. All righty. <laughs> so do you have a favorite meal from the hospital cafeteria? Uh, taco salad Tuesdays. Nice. Now, what is your favorite guilty snack or cheat meal? Cold Stone Creamery. Solid choice. Very good. All right. Most controversial question on the list. Pineapple on pizza. Yes or no? Hmm. My mom would say yes, but no. <laughs> <laughs> so you're normal. Uh, <laughs> Apple or Android? Apple. Any artistic hobbies you keep up with? Hmm. I occasionally like to bake uh, a fancy cake or so, um, if that's artsy. That's artsy. <laughs> Top three favorite music artists. Wow. Right now, um, I really like country. Um, I've been listening to a lot of Morgan Wallen. Um, I like uh, Bruno Mars. I kind of like every, a little bit of everything. I'm all over the place on music. That's good. But what's the best way you relax after a long day? Um, coming home and playing with Winnie, of course. <laughs> Night in or go out on the town kind of person? Mm, definitely a little bit of both. Um, I do like to go out, but also a night in relaxing on the couch is pretty great too. Indoors or outdoors? Outdoors. Beach or mountains? Beach, for sure. Would you consider yourself more of an introvert or an extrovert? Uh, I can definitely be both. Um, depends on how well I know a person. Um, sometimes it takes me a little bit to warm up. <laughs> well, would your selection of introvert or out extrovert, was that a personality trait that factored into you choosing your specialty? Probably, yeah. I knew that I, um, I guess more of my extrovert self did not want to not have patient care. So sit in a room all day and you know, read slides or look at images. All righty. So we're getting close to the end. We only got a couple, but these next questions will be more reflective. So 
What did you think you were gonna be when you grew up as a kid? So I either wanted to be a doctor or a veterinarian. Is there a different specialty you think you could have done? I think I could have done surgery. Um, yeah. Like I said earlier, I really, really like the surgery part of dermatology. Um, and it was one of my, definitely my favorite rotation, but glad to be where I am. If you didn't do medicine, what do you think you'd be doing right now? Other than veterinarian, um, probably interior design. I always think that's so cool. I'd say you'd be a pretty good one. <laughs> Thanks. All right. Medicine is hard no matter where you go. The, the process to get here is pretty strenuous. So were there any times you doubted you would make it as a doctor? Uh, for sure. I had to take the MCAT twice. So after the first time, I was like, I don't know that I can do this. Um, but studied hard, worked hard, got into medical school. Um, and, you know, dermatology, like we've talked about, is very competitive. And from early on, I really thought I wanted to do dermatology. Um, so there were several times I doubted myself, you know. But I just kind of stayed the course, worked hard, um, tried not to get too, too stressed out about it. I can't say that I didn't. Um, but yeah, had my family and friends supporting me, so. Well said. So if you could change one thing about the medical field right now, what would it be? Um, insurance. It's been crazy recently trying to get things covered, medicines covered, biopsies covered. So yeah, it's just a headache. Yeah. So what can a medical student do right now to prepare to go into your specialty? Uh, research for sure. Um, with step one changing to pass fail, I think that research is even more important um, because there has to be something that, you know, people look at to kind of weed out the thousands and thousands of applications that they get. So start early, you know, start shadowing early. Um, yeah. If you could go back, would you change any of your experiences that got you to where you are right now? Um, no, I don't think so. Um, I think everything I did led me here and it's been great so far, so. All right, and we are down to our last question. So finally, what would you say to the aspiring dermatologist right now? Um, you can do it. <laughs> <laughs> Work hard, don't get too stressed, still have fun, um, but most importantly, believe in yourself. Um, you can do whatever you set your mind to. So just work hard. Yeah. Well said. Well, thank you so much, Dr. Han. That is all Thank I you. have for you. Thanks for coming. <laughs>